Hello. Hola, hola, buenas noches. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Vamos a esperar a, a que se conecten los demás. Solo denme un, un segundo. Okay. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Bueno, vemos nueve, pero por el tiempo vamos a comenzar ya para no terminar pasada las nueve. Eh, well, this is our last class. How are you today? ¿Lograron terminar eh, los ejercicios, su examen final? ¿Cómo les fue? Okay. Estaba leyendo que hasta a algunos les salía el, el, el diploma en dos páginas. Vamos a esperar si les pueden resolver en los de soporte, porque realmente como estas son cosas de, que ya están establecidas en PDF, eh, es cuestión de configuración, me imagino, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, vamos a ver si, si, si dan algún, algún, alguna respuesta en cuanto a eso. Eh, mientras, igual, si ustedes ya tienen el certificado, sea, sea como sea, ahí está ya la prueba que ustedes han... Han, han dado por finalizado el módulo y, y, y los que ya pues espero yo que ya la mayoría, si es que no todos ya, ya hayan logrado ese 80% o más para poder pasar al siguiente módulo. Now, eh, as this is class 16, the final review that we are going to have today, as I told you in the objectives, to review vocabulary and grammar studied during the course. O sea, ahora vamos a hacer como un, un final review, un repaso final, eh, en donde vamos a practicar la mayoría o, o muchas de las cosas que, que logramos aprender en este, en este curso, en este mes. Eh, en un mes que es poco, pero realmente eh, se avanza bastante, dedicándole tiempo a la plataforma, eh, dedicando tiempo para conectarse en las clases de Zoom, poco a poco se va avanzando y ustedes creo que la mayoría pueden ver la, la diferencia entre el día uno y este. Entonces, vamos a, vamos a hacer un poco de práctica. In the first one that you see, how do you spell your name? Eh, we are going to practice a little bit of spelling. Listening. Ok, listening, the alphabet, all right, names, etc. And I wrote a video. And this is the exercise, ok? It says listen and check the spelling of the following names. Okay, these names, Ana Sara, Laura, Shelly, Joe, Beth, Sarah. Okay, if the spelling is wrong, we have to correct the spelling. 
Entonces, como ustedes no tienen el ejercicio en el cuaderno y no les voy a pedir que lo escriban, o sea, que copien el cuadro por cuestiones de tiempo, eh, lo que vamos a hacer es que a medida vaya, vaya, vayamos viendo el video, eh, ustedes pueden ir anotando cómo escuchan que, va por, que pronuncian el nombre y luego comparar con el nombre que está en el cuadro. Hay unos que están bien, pero no todos. En el caso de los que no, es, no, no coincide el nombre que está escrito con el nombre que, que ellos deletrean, sí lo vamos a cambiar. Ok, in that case. Now, the video is real English. Es inglés real y quizás lo puedan escuchar hasta cierto punto. Ay, teacher, va muy rápido. Pero eh, de eso se trata, que vayamos acostumbrando el oído y no tengamos miedo a escuchar inglés real. Ok. Uh, so I'm going to play the audio, the video, the first time, okay? The first time you can just listen, okay? Just listen and focus on listening, okay? No anoten nada, just listen. Y ya después voy a ir poniendo el video y lo voy a ir pausando para que vayamos nombre por nombre y vayamos identificando la spelling. Is it clear? ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Me de, let me know if you if you listen. Se supone que sí van a poder escuchar, but just let me know. Sí, sí se escucha. Yep. Yes, it's all right. Yes, it's all right. Okay, okay. Hi, how are you? Very good. And yourself? I'm great. Thanks. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Anna Sarah. How's that spelled? A-N-N-A-S-A-R-A-H. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. What's your name? Laura. How's that spelled? L-A-U-R-A. -A. Uh, what's your name? Shelly. How's that spelled? S-H-E-L-L-I. What's your name? My name is Joe. How is that spelled? J-O-E. What's your name? My name is Beth. How's that spelled? B-E-T-H. What's your name? My name is Sarah. How's that spelled? S-A-R-A-H. All right. Now, as you can see, probably uh, if you listen, they're talking quickly, right? They are talking a little bit fast because it's a real conversation. It's a real interview. But you already know some vocabulary like, hello, how are you? I'm fine, good, how are you? All right, and also the question that she's asking. She is asking about spelling, okay? So as you listen, you can write the name, okay? ¿Pudieron identificar algunos de los nombres que, que ellos dijeron? Sí. Yes. Okay. okay, very good. Now, I'm going, to, I'm going to play it again. I'm going to play that specific part again. And I'm, I'm going to start after each name, so you can tell me if it's right or if it is wrong. Okay? Just. Hi, how are you? Very good. And yourself? I'm great, thanks. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? I'm Anna Sarah. How's that spelled? A-N-N-A-S-A-R-A-H. All right. Is that name spelled correct according to this? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, it's right. Now, one volunteer to spell it again, please. How do you spell Sar Anna Sarah according to her name? Okay. It was Abigail, I guess. Yes. A N N A S A R A H. Excellent. Now they ask. She asks another question. She doesn't say, "How do you spell your name?" What is the question that she asks? Did you did you recognize the question? Okay. Let me write. No. How's no. that spelled? How's that spelled? That is a name that she, that is a question that she asks. And it is the same question. How do you spell your name? And how's that spelled? 
In the second question, how's that spelled? Is the same. You don't say name because in the context, you already know that she is asking about the name. Okay. Now let's listen to the next one. Wait. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. What's your name? Laura. How's that spelled? L A U R A. All right. Is it correct? Is is it Laura in this case correct? No. 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 Okay. What is what? how? How do you spell Laura then? How's that spelled? L U L R R A. Okay. Once again. L O O uh -huh. R A. Uh, but that is the way it's spelled in the in the in the exercise. But this is not the spelling that she gave. L U R A. Okay. Do you agree, classmates? Like this. L U R A. We can hear again. Do you want to listen again? Uh -huh. I want. Yes, please. I'm good, thanks. What's your name? Laura. How's that spelled? L-A-U-R-A. Uh-huh. L-A-U-R-A. Uh-huh. L-A-U-R-A. Uh-huh, Laura. Okay. Yes, it's the, as we call in Spanish, Laura, but in English it's Laura. Okay. Let's let's listen the ne to the next one. Just give me a moment. Uh, what's your name? Shelly. How's that spelled? S H E L L I. All right. Is it okay? No. 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 What is the correct spelling? How's that spelled? S H E L Y. S H E L. Give me a moment. Okay, um, okay, tell me the name. How do you spell Shelly? S H uh -huh. E L L I. Hi, are you sure? Mm -mm. This I. I. Remember that we are remember that we are comparing los nombres que yo ya tengo en el cuadro si son los mismos o si es el mismo spelling que el que ellos mencionan. Entonces, en el uno sí estaba bien. El nombre que yo tengo aquí con el que ya deletreó. En el dos no. Yo tengo Laura, L O R A, pero ella deletreó L A U R A. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. En la tres, Shelly. S H E L L Y no coincide con el spelling que, que dio la persona en el video. The correct spelling is S H E L L I. Okay, ajá. Uh -huh. So let's continue. Give me a moment. Thank you. Very good. And yourself? I'm great. Thanks. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. What's your name? A H. I'm good, thanks. Laura. How's that spelled? L A U R A. Uh, I. What's your name? My name is Joe. How is that spelled? J O E. All right, how about this one? Is it okay or no? It's okay. Okay. Hey, right? J O E. Okay, very good. Next. What's your name? My name is Beth. How's that spelled? B E T H. Okay, how's that spelled? How's Beth spelled? Is it okay here? It's correct. It's correct, correct. okay. How do you spell Beth? B H. B E T H. Excellent. Now, the next one. The next What's your name? My name is Sarah. How's that spelled? S A R A H. All right. Is it no. is it the same? No. No, no. no. All right. How's no. that spelled? S A R A H. S A R A H. 
S A R A H. Okay, remember that even though ah we already started the spelling the alpha esa fue la clase número dos o tres del del módulo y hasta ahí no it's something that we are constantly using, okay, eh, and it's very common if someone asks for the spelling, sobre todo con nombres. Imagínense un día ustedes hablan con 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 alguien que no es del país, no el español o o, o no le entiende cómo se escribe su nombre, I, and you don't know how to spell. So it's very, very important that you continue practicing these topics. Aunque ya diga usted que ya lo ve en la clase 1, ya no. You, you, you need to, to, to practice. Every, everything that we have studied, put it into practice. Practice, practice. Okay, I don't know if you have any questions about this exercise before I go to the next one. Vamos a seguir con el video, but we have another exercise here. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, for the next part of the video, we are going to answer two questions. We are going to answer it. How old are you and where are you from? As you can see in the chart, we have some missing information. We have names, age, and country or city. But we have some missing information. For example, in the first one, we have the name, Beth, but we don't have the age or in the country. In the second one, we have the country or city, but we don't have the name or, or the age. And the same with the others, okay? So, listen, you are going to watch the video, that part of the video, and try to complete with the information. Vamos a hacer lo mismo. Voy a ponerlo la primera vez y solo escuchen. Just listen. Don't try to write. Just try to listen and understand. Then the second time, you can write if you want. Okay? Is it clear? ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Yes. Después pueden copiar el... el El cuadro si gustan y el, 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 el link del video igual se los, se los puedo compartir. Just give me a moment. Voy a buscar a cabal esa parte. S-A-R-A-H. How old are you? 34. How old are you? I'm 49. How old are you? I'm 25. How old are you? Uh, 20, but almost 21 pretty soon. And how old are you? 33. Where are you from? I'm from Mongolia. Where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. Where are you from? Uh, San Francisco. Where are you from? I was born on the East Coast outside of Washington, D.C., but now I live in Santa Monica. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Taiwan, grew up in Dallas, Texas, and now I'm here for college. All right. Now, as you can see, different information, right? Así que hay que, hay que tratar de, de, de ¿cómo les puedo decir? To get, de, de entender o de agarrarle lo, la mayor cantidad de ideas. Ok, posible. Si ustedes hay algo que no lo logren entender, that's ok, that's the idea. Vamos a ir poco a poco. Let me see. Ok, no sé si en la pantalla que les estoy mostrando se logra ver que abajo, en una esquina de abajo del video, aparece el nombre de cada uno. Se logra, se logra ver el nombre. Yes, o, sure. o lo puedo hacer más grande, if you want. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, I'm going to leave it like that then. Now, let me let me play the audio again, the video, and now you can take notes. Si, digamos, alguien logró copiar el cuadro y lo quiere completar así, it's okay. If not, just take notes, okay? Vamos a ver. Yeah. How old are you? 34. How old are you? I'm 49. How old are you? I'm 25. How old are you? Uh, 20, but almost 21 pretty soon. And how old are you? 33. 
are you from? I'm from Mongolia. Where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. Where are you from? Uh, San Francisco. Where are you from? I was born on the East Coast, outside of Washington, D.C., but now I live in Santa Monica. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Taiwan, grew up in Dallas, Texas, and now I'm here for college. All right. Now, do you want to watch it again? Yes. Okay. I'm going to, to play it once again. Acuérdense, lo más que puedan, toda la información que puedan. Don't worry if you don't have it, you don't have everything. How old are you? 34. How old are you? I'm 49. How old are you? I'm 25. How old are you? Uh, 20, but almost 21 pretty soon. And how old are you? I'm 33. Where are you from? I'm from Mongolia. Where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. Where are you from? Uh, San Francisco. Where are you from? I was born on the East Coast, outside of Washington, D.C., but now I live in Santa Monica. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Taiwan, grew up in Dallas, Texas, and now I'm here for college. All right. Now, let's try to complete uh, the exercise together, okay? Y lo voy a ir pausando para irlo completando juntos. All right. Now, let's start with Beth. How old is she? Do you remember? In Washington. No. How old? How ah. old is she? 24. 24. 24. Yes. No. No, 40, 49. 24. 24. 24. 24, 24, 25, 25. How about 34? No, 20, 24. 24. Okay, let's see. In the country? Yo voy a poner lo que ustedes me digan. Okay, Washington, and... Washington, D.C. Mongolia, algo así dijo. Oh, Beth, <laughs> Washington. Beth, Washington. Uh -huh. Washington, oui. Washington, D.C. Okay. Entonces, we will see, la edad right? esa. We will see. Ajá. Acuérdense. Es 21. Iban, iban mezclados, iban mezclados. Primero uno dijo la edad, otro dijo la ciudad y no iban en orden. Ajá. Ah, entonces, Beth es... For... 21. No, 49. 49. 49, 49 es Beth. Yes, 49. 49. Vamos a ver. Listen. No. I'm 49. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. 49. Okay. And the country, yes, right? What What do you say? Washington. Washington. But But she mentioned uh, two cities. Washington is Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Okay, Washington D.C. But she now she lives in Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Okay, okay, very good. Now, the next one, somebody who is from Columbus, Ohio. Shelly. Is Shelly. 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 Okay, and how old is Shelly? 44. 44. How old? 44. 44. 44. 24. Okay, some of you said 20, some of you say 34. 20, you say 24, 24, 24, 24. 24. Let's listen. 24. How old are you? I'm 25. How old are you? Uh, 20, but almost 21 pretty soon. And how old are you? 33. Where are you from? I'm from Mongolia. 34. How old are you? Uh huh. So. 34. 34. 30. 30. 
Thirty-four. Oh. Thirty-four. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cuando ya lo tengamos todo, lo voy a volver a poner. Now, someone who is from Mongolia and is thirty-three. Sarah. Sarah. I'm from Mongolia. Sarah. Uh, yes. Sarah. Pero Sara tiene 25. Let's see. I guess there is a mistake over there. Vamos a ver. AH. How old are you? 34. How old are you? I'm 49. How old are you? I'm 25. Mm -hmm. She's 25, right? Yes? Yes. Okay, but she's from Mongolia, right? Yes, yes or no? Yes. yes. No. Okay. Mongolia, Sara is Mongolia. Mongolia. Okay. Let's, let's just cross it out, and then we will check the age and the place. Now, Dustin, how old is he? Dustin is... 31. Is, 21. is he 21? 21. 21. Listen. How old are you? Uh, 20, but almost 21. Pretty. Tiene 20, pero va a cumplir 21. Ajá. He's 20, almost 21. Okay. 20, almost 21. Okay. Very good. And uh, how about the last person that is 33 years old? I mean, I know. Who? Amir. 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 Okay. And where is he from? San Francisco. Okay. Very good. Now, let's listen to that part of the video. It's Beth. How old are you? 34. How old are you? I'm 49. How old are you? I'm 25. How old are you? Uh, 20, but almost 21 pretty soon. And how old are you? 33. Where are you from? I'm from Mongolia. Where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. Where are you from? Uh, San Francisco. Where are you from? I was born on the East Coast, outside of Washington, D.C., but now I live in Santa Monica. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Taiwan, grew up in Dallas, Texas, and now I'm here for college. Okay, the, the, the rest, we're not going to watch it, all right? Uh, because this is what we wanted to know okay name spelling age country okay or city all right and yes sarah is 25 years old and she's from mongolia now do you have any questions about this exercise no question now it's right all right let's move I on <laughs> It's Every uh, excellent. Now we have this uh, reading tasks about let's it's called identity cards, but it's about personal information. Okay, uh, we're going to practice some reading. I'm going to give you uh, one two minutes to read the, the text, and then together we are going to answer these questions. Okay, go ahead, read the text, please.
Let me know if you finish, please. Finish. All right. How about the others? Did you finish? Equal teacher. And if you have any questions about vocabulary, write the vocabulary, write the words, and then we are going to check new vocabulary. Okay, I need one volunteer, please. Raise your hand. Adriana. Okay, Adriana, I want you to read the first two paragraphs from hello until number seven. Okay. Hello, my name is Grace Taylor. I am 11 years old and I am a student. I'm from Australia, but I live in London with my family. My favorite color is pink and my favorite number is seven. Okay, thank you. Now, Emma wanted to participate. Go ahead, Emma. Please read the rest of the, of the text. Okay. This is my friend Marcos Almeida. He is 11 too. He's from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. And his favorite color is blue. Marcos and me are in British, but we both speak English. We are in the same class in an international school. In our school, there are boys and girls from different countries. Okay, Marcos and I, okay. Marcos and I are in British, ¿ok? No puede ser me porque son sujetos. They are subjects, ¿ok? And me is, a, is an object, ¿all right? So it's Marcos and I. Marcos and I are in British. ¿Ok? Do you have questions about vocabulary? New words for you? No. Bre Everything. Yeah. Prestige or British? British is a, co is a nationality. What is ah. a country in this case? Do England. you remember? England. Uh huh. From England or uh, Great, Great Britain? Britain. Okay. Great Britain. Okay. Okay, gracias. Um, any other question? Nope. Okay. Now, if there is no questions about vocabulary, let's move to the questions about the reading. Um, here we're going to answer as a class. Okay. And I will be writing the answers that you give me. For example, in number one, what's her first name? What's her first name? Grace. 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 So I'm going to write. And remember, I'm going to write only the short answer. But remember that for this question, what's her first name? Right? The complete answer is her name is or her first name is Grace. So it would be a good idea that if you have your notebooks, si tienen los cuadernos, ustedes sí escriban la oración completa. Okay? You write the complete sentence. Okay, now, number two, is her last, da? 
Is her last name Almeida? No, she is Mar No? She is not. She is. Oh, she's not, right? Or no, she isn't. Uh -huh. No, she's not or no, she isn't. What is her last name? Taylor. Her last name? Taylor. Uh -huh. Taylor. Very good. Taylor. Okay. How old is Grace? Eleven years old. Okay, she's she is eleven years old. Okay, remember she is, not she has. She is she, eleven years old. Okay. Now number four. Are Grace and Marco the same age? Yes, they are eleven too. So yes or no? Yes, yes they yes. are. Yeah. Yes, they are. For answer, yes, they are. Now, number five. Is Grace British? No, no. she is not. She is She's British, not. Uh, Australian. No? no? She's, no, she's not. not. Where no, she's is she not. from? Where is she from? She's from she's London. She's from London. London. She's from she's London? She's from Australia. Australia. Okay, she's Australian or she's from Australia. Uh -huh. Very good. No, from London, no. She lives in London. Ahí vive ella. London, but she is not from London. Okay, is she a student? Yes, she is. Okay, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number seven. Is Marcos Brazilian? Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Where in Brazil? He's from Brazil, but where, where in Brazil? Where does he come from? Rio de Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. He's from Rio. And the last one. Are they in different classes? No, they aren't. No, they they no, they aren't. They aren't. They aren't. Or no, they are they not. Are. Okay, they are on the same class in an international school. All right, very good, easy, right? Now you are able to understand short texts about somebody's personal information in basic contexts, right? In contexto básicos. Okay, in which someone introduces himself or herself or introduces another person con un name, age, country, nationality, right? And some other personal information. Ya ustedes son capaces de, de, de entender este tipo de textos y también ustedes lo pueden hacer. Ya vamos a reproducir uno parecido. All right, let me, let me raise the answers. Teacher, okay. una pregunta. Yes. En la tercera podría ser, tam, se podría responder, she have, she have 11 years old. No, she is. She, she is. is. Remember that for ages, no es she has or I have. Es siempre es el verbo to be. Ok, no, no decimos la, la edad con el verbo have. Ok, okay. siempre Gracias. con el verbo to be. All right. Ok, let's go to the next one. Now, remember that it's a final review, right? So in this case, we are going to practice questions too. And we are going to fill in the gaps. Aquí sí le voy a pedir que en su cuaderno, no van a copiar la oración, la, la conversación, no. You're, you're not going to copy everything. Pero sí que vayan escribiendo la, la, la pregunta que ustedes creen que hagan falta. Aquí le voy a escribir yo el número para, para identificar. ¿Qué número, ¿Qué número de pregunta es? ¿Y cómo es el orden? Déjenme, les, lo escribo y luego les explico. Aunque ahí creo que es, ya se entiende qué es lo que vamos. Aunque no solo es la pregunta, hay respuestas. Questions and answers. So, based on the conversation and the context, ¿ok? Ustedes van a identificar qué les falta ahí según la respuesta según el contexto, según lo que pregunta o lo que responde, ahí les, les falta información. So, I'm, that I'm going to let you work individual, 
I'm going to give you three to five minutes para que ustedes lo identifiquen y después todos juntos lo llenemos, ¿ok? Pero quiero que lo, lo intenten ustedes individualmente, ¿ok? ¿Is it clear? ¿Se entiende lo que van a hacer? Yes or no? Yes. Ok, yes. go ahead. Let me know if you finish, please. You finish? Finish. All right. How about the others? Finish. Finish. Okay. Let's see. Um, give me a moment. Okay. Uh, for number one, what is missing there? Hello, Grace. How are you? How are you? How are you? Very good. I'm fine, thanks, right? And you? And then you have the answer. For number two, Ronaldo. What is your last name? What is your last name? Okay, what is your last name? What is his last name? Or his last name. His last uh -huh. name. Because oh. she's asking about Rolando. Ronaldo, sorry. Mm -hmm. What's his last name? Antonelli. His last name is Antonelli. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Where is 
Where are you from? What is, Where is he from? Marcos from? Oh. Where from is Marcos? From? Where is he oh. from? Okay, look at the answer. He's from Brazil, but his family is Italian. So as you can see in this, in questions two or th and three, she is asking about another person. And, and number four. It's from Ronaldo from. Uh, again? Is Ronaldo from? Aha, uh -huh. or is he, right? Is he from Rio de Janeiro too? Uh -huh. Okay. No. Number five. No. No, he's not. No, he's not. Uh -huh. No, he's not. He's from Sao Paulo. Number six. He's nice. How how old is he? How old he? Very good. How old is he? He's 12 years old. Okay, now I need two volunteers, please. Two volunteers. To me read teacher. the conversation. Who said me? Edgar. Yes. Thank you. And one more. Me, teacher. Rene Resinos, right? Yes. Okay, Edgar and Rene, please, you're going to read the conversation. In this case, Edgar is Marcos and uh, Rene is Grace. And I'm going to be Ronaldo at the end. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hello, Grace. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine, too. Look, that's my friend, Ronaldo. Ronaldo? What's his last name? Antonelli. His last name is Antonelli. Where is he? Where is he from? He's from Brazil, but his family is Italian. Is he from Rio de Janeiro too? No, he's not. He's from Sao Paulo. He's nice. How old is he? He is 12 years old, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, come here, please. This is my friend, Grace. Hi, Grace. Hi, Ronaldo. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, as you can see, now you are able to ask questions or complete information in a context. También cuando eh, podemos identificar el contexto de, un, de una conversación, si estoy preguntando por alguien más o si, estoy, o si le estoy preguntando a alguien directamente. So, it's important that you remember the, the, the structure of the questions. Aquí vimos en este ejercicio WH questions, la estructura de WH questions y la estructura de yes, no questions, right? Así como la short answer. También es otra cosa que debemos seguir practicando, aunque más adelante lo, vamos a, lo van a repasar. Eh, es importante que mantengan la, la que se acuerden de, de eso, ¿verdad? La estructura. So, let's do this quickly. Ok, in this case, we are going to review personal pronouns and nationalities. So, we have to rewrite the sentences. No la vamos a reescribir porque nos falta todavía un ejercicio, pero sí eh, lo vamos a hacer entre todos. For example, I'm going to do number one. Dice que hay que reescribir la oración usando el pronombre personal y la nacionalidad. Y en el original tenemos los nombres y, la, y los, las, los países. So, in number one, en vez de decir Marcos and Ronaldo are from Brazil, yo voy a decir they are Brazilian. Yes or no? Yes. Ok. How about number two? Si le cambio el, el, prono, el nombre y la, el, la, el país, she ¿cómo sería? From, she is from, no, she is from, no. She is, porque sería la nacionalidad. She mm -hmm. is, she is French. Ajá, uh -huh. she is French. Number three, Alex and I are from Portugal, or Portugal. What, what is this? We, we are. We are, ajá. Uh -huh. Portuguese, right? Portuguese. Portuguese. You and Gus are from Germany. What will be the 
the question, the sentence here. They. You they, and they. Gus. You and Gus. Sería you. We, you. You uh, es para ajá, singular usted. en plural. Ajá. You or your. What is the nationality? German. 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 Very good. My cat is from the USA. Is, it, it, it is from nationality. American. 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 Very good. Now, Juan Pablo is from Brazil. No, from Spain. He is Spanish. Spanish. Good. And the last one, Wing Chi is from China. China. She is Chinese. 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 She's Chinese. Chinese. She's Chinese because I don't, I don't, I don't recognize uh, the name. But entonces, aquí, otra vez, countries, we need to know the difference between countries and nationalities. Cuando usamos el país y nos referimos de dónde es, Siempre vamos a usar from, remember that. From Brazil, from France, from Portugal, from Germany, from the USA, from Spain, from China. Pero si decimos la nacionalidad, ya no vamos a decir from. Ya I'm not, I cannot say he's from Brazilian. No, ya le quitamos ese from y ya solo dejamos la nacionalidad porque la, nacio, la nacionalidad ya se vuelve un adjetivo. So, they are Brazilian. She is French. We are Portuguese. Y así. Okay, I don't know if you have any questions from this exercise. No? Okay, now let's practice a little bit of writing, okay? And this is, the, this is going to be the last exercise. You have to write about yourself. Ahora sí, ustedes ya pueden, son capaces de escribir eh, sobre ustedes, obviamente, información personal básica, okay, así como yo lo acabo, lo, lo, lo he hecho en ese texto. Okay, first we're going to write and then we're going to read. My name is Veronica Serrano. I am 35 years old. I am from El Salvador. I am tall. I have long straight hair. I have brown eyes. I think I am serious and sometimes moody. My favorite color is purple. My favorite food is Mexican food. I don't have a favorite singer or band. My phone number is 7066-7701. And my email address is veronica.serrano1006 at gmail.com. It was a pleasure to meet you all. Okay, in this case, I'm going to give you, por el tiempo, two, three minutes, nada más, para que ustedes hagan un, una, un texto parecido a este con su información personal presentándose, así como yo lo he escrito. Okay, I don't know if you have any questions about one of these words de las que ocupé si hay alguna pregunta en este well, caso moody teacher moody moody mm -hmm. remember when we saw personality que es alguien que está eh, por ejemplo me, puede a veces cambiar de humor rápido a ver, eh, contenta pero de repente me enojo rápido o me, me, me entristece algo rápido y después otra vez feliz entonces eso es moody ok eh, las, las mujeres tendemos a ser así a ver <risa> Ok, eh, eso, eso es, es como cambiante en el, eh, ay, es que mude es genio, ajá, como cambiante en el genio, en, en su forma de, sí, en el genio. ¿Sentimiento? Uh, no, fíjense que no, realmente no recuerdo el equivalente en español, pero es alguien que cambia de genio constantemente, que uh, de repente está contento y, y el, al después está enojado y, o, o triste. Vale, pero, no, porque bipolar es ya una condición. Ya una, no, ya bipolar es algo más, más serio, pero sí ah, se confunde. Se se confunde. No, no, pero sí. Un, border, un borderline es otra cosa. No, eso ya es algo bien serio. Sí, ok. Eh, vale, two, three minutes to write individually y luego vamos a compartir lo que escribieron. Ok. Go ahead.
One minute. Teacher, ¿dónde encuentra esos juegos bien divertidos que nos ponía? Mm, en varios lugares. Ahí buscando en Google. ¿Cuál de todos? El de las cartitas. ¿El de las? El que jugamos ayer de las de emparejar. Ah, eh, fíjese que ese lo encuentro en un sitio que es como, es para, es para dos antes, pero lo puede usted crear. O puede buscar unos que, que ya están y le da ya las opciones como la forma de jugarlo. El de ayer yo lo hice, pero solo le, solo le va poniendo la imagen y, la, y el nombre. Y si, usted lo, y si usted quiere uno que ya está, igual los puede, lo puede jugar. Solo pone ahí el nombre del, del tema que quiere, que quiere practicar y ya le aparecen varias opciones. Se, les puedo mandar el link si, 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 si quieren buscar jueguitos. Ok. Ok, because of time, vamos a, a solo pedir a un par de voluntarios para que nos digan sus, sus párrafos, nos lo lean, eh, porque ya se nos fue el tiempo. I don't know if I have volunteers. No hay. <laughs> Only one? No, yeah, I am. Abigail. Abigail. Okay, go ahead, Abigail. Okay. Hello, my name is Abigail Pineda. I am 20 years old. I am from El Salvador. I have brown egg. Oh, my favorite nice. color is blue. Uh -huh. My favorite animal is cat. I am a student in the administrative of industrial companies and in support. My uh -huh. phone name is... Eh, Six one, six seven, seven six, eight two. Solamente. Mm. <laughs> okay, hasta ahí. Yes. Okay, very good, very very good. Thank you. Uh, ice. I have brown ice. Okay, la pronunciación de ice. Okay. Vaya por el tiempo que se solo nos da para uno más. One volunteer. Me yes, teacher. Go ahead, Kevin. Okay. My name is Kevin Villalta. I'm 20 years old and I'm studying welding at CFP Don Bosco. Besides, I would like to improve my English because one day I want to be an excellent English teacher. Talking about my personality, I am serious and a kind person. Talking about my appearance, I am short and I have black hair. My favorite food is Dagna and uh, if I had to choose between Mexican and Salvadorian food, I will I would pick Mexican food. That's it. Okay, excellent, Kevin. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay, por el tiempo ya eh, pues nos quedamos cortos porque tengo que empezar la clase de las nueve. Pero eso sería. Eh, bueno, eh, a partir de la otra semana ya los que se lo inscribieron y cumplieron con los requisitos, pues ya pasan al siguiente módulo. Eh, todavía si alguno no ha logrado terminar algún ejercicio, tiene hasta las 12 para hacerlo, así que eh, hágalo y, y ánimos. Les dejo aquí este pequeño pensamiento. Every student will learn just not on the same day, in the same way. Ok, quiere decir que aunque usted vea que, que alguien va más adelante y usted le cuesta, eh, no se preocupe. No todos, no todos aprenden de la misma forma, ni el mismo día, ¿ok? Ni, 
ni todos van a aprender en la misma clase. Hay unos que les cuesta más, otros van a aprender eh, en la siguiente clase, otros ya vienen con conocimientos. Lo importante es que usted no se dé por vencido. ¿Ok? Así que si vamos comenzando, usted sigue adelante y espero que en algún momento, si logramos coincidir en algún grupo, va a ser un gusto poder este, ser parte de su, de su formación académica. ¿Ok? It was a pleasure to meet you guys. Con gusto. Thank you, teacher. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Bye. 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 Take care.